school we have in is going to be Westbrook Warriors. Coach, I'm going to let you introduce yourself and who you have with you and what grade you're in. I'm uh, Coach Matt Cody. No, to my right, I have uh, Christian Morris. He's a 12th grader. And to my left, I have Kate Phillips, 10th grade, and uh, Bryce Wood, 10th, or 12th grade. Sorry. Well, Coach, I'm going to start with you. Um, how exciting is it to even be sitting here with the opportunity to play with the year we've had, like 2020, with COVID, the pandemic, and everything? And how honestly we didn't think we was going to have football. And then now they're saying, you know, indoors or track or basketball, we don't know about it. But just to have this, you know, privilege to, to get together and and have a season, what does that mean to you personally? Man, just to be here with these guys right now and doing this is a step forward for us. And if we can get on the court and get one game, you know, and then we'll take it one game at a time after that, is what we're looking forward to. You know, at Westbrook, we're going to follow everything they ask us to do and keep everything clean and wipe the benches down. And we're going to take all our protocols and just hopefully to take one game at a time. Absolutely. Um, and, and, you know, telling and that coach, with it, with it, the challenges of this season, like you just mentioned the cleanings and all that, how much more difficult has that made your job as a coach, not being able to have the, the you know, the play dates in the summer and, and the workouts and like as normal, but how much more difficult has that made your job specifically? Uh, well, for me, I, I take care of the maintenance at Westbrook. That's what I do at Westbrook. So um, I'm kind of the front line to fight COVID at our school. So um, I, you know, between games and stuff, I don't mind doing it, you know, because I'm already doing it. But we have great leadership at our school. Our head principal, Ms. Greer, since our athletic director, Coach Kennedy, they help out in every way we can with our middle school games that we've already got going on. So they make my job a lot easier too. And I'm sure they will step up even more when the varsity gets on the floor and take some of that off of me. Absolutely. And you two guys in the ends are both seniors, correct? Yes, sir. Um, like Coach just said, well, this could be gone at any moment. We, we all know that. Um, how much more special is each and every game going to be for you guys? We'll start over here. I mean, every game as a whole, even last year, was special just because, you know, just getting to play is something that's in itself. But even, uh, you know, you said this year it can go away like that. So, you know, every game, you've always heard play like it's your last, but even this for year really, it really applies to it now. Stop. No doubt. I mean, it really means something now. Uh, I mean, yeah, back on uh, what Christian said, uh, I mean, you have to play every game like it's your last. Uh, I mean, for football, it was the same way. It was like take a week at a time. And uh, I've enjoyed every moment of that. And it just makes it more special to me and kind of, you know, get to enjoy the moment a little bit more in your last days in high school. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. 100%. Uh, Coach, being your second year, uh, how much uh, have you seen these kids uh, buying into the program? Uh, more than, um, not more so, but uh, they're familiar with you with what uh, your expectations are. Uh, do you see buying into the program that much more fully as you go into your second year? You know, me going into my second year as a head coach, but this is my fourth year at Westbrook. So, you know, nothing against the seniors that I had last year, but I didn't coach those guys as JV players. I never had that opportunity. Um, these are my guys. You know, not that, like I said, I'm not taking anything with it. These are my guys, you know, and I've seen them buy in since day one. Believe in me, believe in one another, and um, and I couldn't be more excited to get these guys out here on the court and just and get the ball rolling. Who are your time stars? Uh, Kate Phillips and Grayson Wright. What about some guys that maybe you pulled up from JV that the last year, maybe some transfers that you know some newcomers you're expecting to contribute this year? Um, one that uh, is going to step up and uh, have a starting position is going to be Ryan Scott as our point guard. Uh, you know. You football guys and follow him. He tore his ACL against Ohatchee. So uh, he stepped in and played maybe a minute and a half of basketball last year. So he's stepping into the most important role of our team. It's going to be, you know, be the point guard, be the general. So he's going to be, you know, Christian didn't start last year. He's going to play a lot of minutes. You know, Bryce as well. You know, these two on the ends, they're going to step into big, big roles. So my one, two, and three are all going to be brand new faces and they're going to have to play a whole bunch of minutes. Mr. Phillips, got a question for you, my man. Um, although you're a sophomore, you're probably going to be looked to as a leader, and I know you're going to be a target for everybody <laughs> whenever you walk into the gym. You were last year, but I think you lived up to expectations. Everybody in this room can agree to that. Mm -hmm. Talk about your role as, as I mean, you're kind of going to have to be an enforcer. You're going to be, you know, shot, altering. I mean, you've you got a huge role and, and a huge target as well, but talk about the opportunity you have this year. Man, it's a, it's a great opportunity. Um, it's a great group of seniors, and uh, they, they buy into what I do, and uh, I know that they can help out with anything else 
and uh, that's really it. There's these guys here that make my life easy. So, um, uh, talk about Coach here, man. What, what what you've learned from him over these last two years, besides the shoe game, which is on. Oh yeah, the shoe game. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I'll let the last He's actually coached me since seventh grade. Now. Um, so since seventh grade to now, he just taught. Uh, you got to put the fire, the fire that just you got to keep going and keep just every play has got to be hundred percent. No doubt. You know, just attack the rim. That's really it. Play with your hair on fire, and I think both oh, yeah. these guys talked about. It, you know, the the, the, the the now the urgency of it really truly can. I know you hear it all the time. Yeah. It truly can be going in a heartbeat. You get something. Else? Yeah, Coach. I was going to ask Coach Davis or Coach the same question. How important it is. Not only teach these guys and kids, these kids a game of basketball to be a good Christian role model. I'm sorry, can you ask that again? To be a good Christian role model. Yeah, I mean, if, if, guys, if nothing else, man, if, if I can't teach these guys how to be, you know, uh, you know, youngly God men, then I have failed as a coach, as a, you know, as anything at Westbrook. If I if I can't show them how to do that, then you know, then I'm doing n anybody any good at this school. So that is my you know number one priority, and just be a leader and just lead by example, you know, and grow and be. My big, I'm real big on relationships. I want to have relationships with every single one of my guys, you know, and that's how I build and show them what a godly man is supposed to be. Love it. Um, seniors, I'm going to ask you guys a question. We'll start over here. Um, you know, like you said, now Coach even said that you're his guys. It's, it's like 100% go time. You've been with Coach all this time. you got the pieces of the puzzle. Uh, talk about your personal expectations for this team, each one of you guys. Um, just take it one day, uh, one game at a time, basically. Um, I mean, I believe in our starting five and the bench players. I mean, as he said, he's coached every single one of us since we've gotten here. I transferred here two years ago, and um, I mean, he's been my role model. I've bought in, I believed in him, and uh, I believe the rest of the players will do as well. So, pretty big expectations. I'm, I'm digging the surfer look. It's like surfer. <laughs> it's like surfer meets me. Y'all remember Joe Kane? Yeah. <laughs> surfer meets Joe Kane? Yeah, boy. Oh, same thing. I just, I mean, I believe in all the guys we have on our team. They can all, they can all come in and give good minutes and time and, and the starters. You know, we can start a game off right and take, you know, some. We have to, a bench player comes in or something like that, and then they can very easily help out and contribute in ways. But truly, you know, we we had school cut off for two weeks um, just today, but we can easily use that to get in the gym more than you know one or even two times a day. And we can just use it to really to be, to be prepared and just hit it hit it head on. And you guys all three play football, right? It is yes. How you how are you, how's that football to basketball transition? <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a lot of fouls early. If I can keep Bryce on the court, the whole game will be okay. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. It's, okay. it's a lot of charges. Yeah. Yeah. So. You got you got a dial on back. Yeah, this is yeah. that one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What, what about shape-wise? I know it's, a different type, it's two different types of shape. It is. Uh, you know, depending on win-loss factor of, with, with playoffs, uh, we'll turn, determining on, you know, which game it is. So, you know, so if it's Friday night, we play Wednesday. So you're talking two days of practice in the game. And oh, I'm sorry, two days of practice in the game, Wednesday, game Friday, if we lose this Friday night, you know. Uh, I don't. I want to cancel all my games. Right. I want to go as that, far as we can. That was my next question. Would you cancel games, or would you even have a roster? No, too? absolutely. I cancel every one of them. Would you? I mean, yeah, I don't okay. have enough. I, okay, okay. That's no, my I, next question. I've got eight on the football team. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I would cancel every one of them. Either have to play some ninth graders. Or yeah. <laughs> we would just we would, we would we'd cancel them out, and and, I, and I've told these guys since day one. I'm on the sidelines with them every Friday night. I'm not a coach. But I'm on the sidelines with them and on the battlefield with them, and I want I want to go as far as we can. You know, yeah. I want to cancel these basketball games. Yeah. So. All right, our next thing is gonna bring us to the Glico Yellow Jackets. Uh, Coach, I want you to introduce yourself and the two gentlemen you have with you in what grade they're in. Uh, Coach Jason Gilly, uh, been there for. Hmm. 20 years now. <laughs> Doing a little bit of everything. It's about year seven of the varsity boys. Uh, I've got my two seniors with me, uh, just TJ Peoples and Dakota Smith. Uh, coach, uh, so you, you've been there 20 years now. I'm just playing with you. Now, but, uh, coach, we, you know, we ask a lot of different teams this and a lot of different coaches this. How, how challenging has it been uh, with COVID and, you know, basically just 
ruined your summer. I mean, it, you don't have play dates and things like that, and then now you roll it over in the fall, and yeah, everything's put, different. It put us at a little bit of a disadvantage, you know, especially uh, after as many seniors as we graduated last year. You know, we're pretty much a whole new team. Really, Dakota's the only returning uh, starter that I have. Uh, got a few guys that was able to pull up at the end of the year, getting a little bit of experience, but as far as the entire season and having full varsity experience. Uh, he's the only one I've got coming back. So it, it did put us at a little bit of a disadvantage as far as uh, not being able to, to uh, play during the summer and, you know, get that team unity uh, that you usually try to count on there. Uh, uh -huh. Because coming in, coming into basketball season, you know, small school like, like us, got so many that play football. I think we had uh, four or five that didn't play football. So missing over half the team uh, that was all football players. So <clears throat> sort of puts you behind a little bit more there. So uh, How are you going to dial TJ Peoples in so we don't get uh, man, out of uh, They ain't no dialing <laughs> him in. <laughs> you got to turn him loose. <laughs> He's got a great looking shirt on, by the way. That's like I told him. I mean, that hit that he gave in the uh, that last game, I mean, you may have to dial back a little bit. Well, it's like I told him, you know, we're going to, we look to get in the ball, and he, okay. need, he needs to go to the basket. That's yeah, cool. People ain't going to want to get in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> so use that to his advantage a little. I want to talk to you two guys. Um, you guys have both been seniors. And like Coach said, you know, you guys are, are it leadership-wise, and they graduated so many last year. <clears throat> How huge is that to have this opportunity, you know, laid at your doorstep, senior year, you know, the only two, the only two seniors on the team, correct? What does that mean to each one of you guys? We'll start right here. Uh, we're just setting the tone for the uh, uh, lower classmen and stuff, and we just want to show them, like, what to do and how to be a leader and family, mm -hmm. team's family. You've been around Coach a lot, so I know you know his philosophy and what he wants out of you guys. Um, talk about how comfortable you are in the system now. Uh, I know Gilly pretty well and his ins and outs and he uh he has a hard time with me sometimes I'm a little slow when it comes to plays, but we get along pretty good. He he treats us like his kids. No doubt. It is and this I'll say this about Dakota. Uh of all the years that that I have coached basketball, you know, Dakota hasn't played very long. Uh but he knows how to get to the rack. There we go. Uh, and from the time he first stepped in and, you know, really started working and getting better, uh, I, I'll be honest with you, he's been one of my favorites to watch. That's it. Uh, and, you know, he produced a lot for us last year. I'm looking looking forward to, to seeing a lot of that again this year also. Uh, you know, he's being... Uh, that he hasn't played as much as what you know maybe most seniors have. Uh, he's still still learning a few things here and there, to tell him. But uh, athletically, you couldn't ask for somebody better. Uh, very quick, maybe the quickest quickest guy on the team. Uh, like I said, you give him a crease. He's getting to the hole. <laughs> Modern day times, where the games evolve, you have to have that. Man, sure. that's. You know, a school like us, especially the players we've had in the past, and that's sort of been our philosophy, really. Uh, you know, we're going to attack the basket, and it's either going to be a layup or we're going to the free throw line. Uh, yeah. You know, it's very rare you have those kids that come along that are outstanding shooters. That if you leave them alone, they're going to knock it down. Uh, still waiting to. One day maybe we get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I can shoot so, sometimes. <laughs> so, you know, our we're going to get to the basket. Yeah. And like I said, it's going to be hitting layups, put-ups, or you're going to foul us getting there. Thank so, you. TJ, about your role as being a leader now, I mean, senior, senior year, talk about that a little bit. Same thing with kind of with football. It's just want to lay a foundation. I mean, at this point, that's the best thing I can do going into the future, setting up like a great example for the younger kids to be like, oh, I think I should handle things like TJ do, or not trying to sound big headed, but I just want to, I just want to leave a positive impact on the culture and uh, 
But that goes along with anything I do at the school. Just want to set an example. I want people to remember me, remember me for what I do and not so much about like, just the simple stuff like just playing ball. Just want people to remember like the kind of person I was. I think yeah. that's the most important. Positive influence is human. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. With uh, just two seniors, obviously there's going to be <clears throat> two, well, not a few, several kids that have to get uh, their feet wet or baptized by fire. Any any newcomers catch your eye that you're well, and it, it's, and saying that, you know, we had last year uh, our, in our offense, our five or our post player, you know, we ended up missing him the entire season. Mm -hmm. He ended up having to have shoulder, shoulder surgery. Uh, Look for got him back, and he's a big presence. Uh, does a dang good job around the rim, rebounding, and just a big, strong kid. Uh, Who was that? Levi Long. Levi, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, the guy that's like Lou Ferrigno? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's. He's a good Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, 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 he is. Brick uh, wall. Yeah, but, yes, he is. Glad to have him back. Uh, no, got got several young guys, a uh, couple tenth graders this year, I guess. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of you. <clears throat> Nolan Fairley, uh, he just he he's a good basketball player. Uh, that's about all you can say about him. He, he's close thing we've got to a pure shooter, uh, but like I said, he works on everything. Knows the game real well. Uh, Another big kid we got, Andrew Green. Uh, he's about 6'5", long and lanky. Uh, he keeps getting better every day. Uh, like I said, we got got a lot of young guys, and I, I'll say this, but these two guys, and you know, TJ especially just coming into the school and all, uh, our young guys are taken to the end. That's good. I mean, it, it, and that's one of the first things I noticed, you know, it, they put them under their wing, yeah. and uh, I've told them that's that's what I need from them. And they know our young guys; they're good. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a real special group coming. That's oh good. yeah. Uh, so you know we got a lot to look for, and these guys are the ones that's showing them the way to it. And keep you guys on your toes, man. So. <laughs>
And like I said, when we tip it up and we, we, we represent Hope Love, they're going to they're gonna bring it. Good. And that's what I'm proud about. I love it. Um, so here with Will, um, what's it going to take to get you out of the mindset of killing people? <laughs> Maybe a little transition there? Or? Actually, me and Hunter were talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, it's had to come to an end sometime, you know. Yeah. It didn't end like we wanted it to, but... Um, I can vouch for these three guys right here. We have so much respect for Coach Presley that if he told us to go jump off the bridge, we'll go jump off the bridge. So, <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So we got to do what he got want us, wants us to do and do it to our full potential. Yeah, I've seen him work with Magic with teams before. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Same question to you. When, I mean, how are you going to transition out of banging heads into well, I mean, a little, little bit of finesse? <laughs> yeah. I mean, press, the, press, the play, I mean, press the coach's physical, so you won't be yeah. too finesse. But. Yeah. I don't think I have a problem with that anyways. But, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, just go play ball, you know. Uh, this will help me get over football, you know, transfer from one sport to the other and uh, just give it all I got, same way I did in football, same way I'll do in baseball, you know. It's just another sport and make it happen on the court like I do on the field. So, you know. Absolutely. And you've been your senior year – the new head coach and the record zero and zero. I know it's been a strange year. What are you looking to have happen this year, being your last year? Um, one of my goals is really to uh, host area. I feel like we have the potential to do it. I feel like us seniors and we got a couple of young guys that really help us out to do that. So. That's right. Coach, how special is it to get to coach your son? I know that's got to be a blessing and maybe a curse. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to dial him in sometimes. <laughs> but he, the problem with him is he is like me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, oh, yeah. I say that, and sometimes my daughter was a lot easier because she wasn't like me. Right. So we could, you know, we wouldn't, we didn't clash at times, you yeah. know. And, but uh, to coach him, I coached him a lot in youth ball. And uh, as he's grown up, you know, he's, he's not a little boy anymore. And being able to let him explore, you know, to step back, is, it's his game now. Yeah. What I mean by it's his game, it's, it's his time to play. Mm -hmm. I've already played, I'm not living my life through him. But uh, people think it's easy to be a coach's kid and sometimes there may be some advantages, but there's some disadvantages. So he has a lot of disadvantages, you know, everything he does is scrutinized. Oh yeah. And, uh, but uh, like I said, he, he has to learn how to deal with that. And he's very young still, so he's still got a lot to learn. And um, the reason I brought these guys, but they, they're doing a great job helping teach him that. So that's why I chose these kind of leaders for our team. Uh, Coach, I got a question for sure. you. Um, I know it's kind of early, but the uh, Christmas Classic with all mm -hmm. ten teams in the county, mm -hmm. do you feel like that is a, a plus for the Edwall County as a whole uh, as far as making our team stronger? Uh, I do not. I do not. You know, I, I, let me explain why. Okay. I think it's good as far, far as basketball, building basketball mm -hmm. in our county, and I've always said that it's great as for me, I always try to play everybody local, right. you know, and, and we'll continue to try to do that as much as possible. And when I was at Gaston as the head coach, Coach Huff was at Litchfield, and he did me a favor because I had some good teams and I needed to be pushed. So I don't ever mind playing competition, but sometimes for the county schools who play the county tournament, mm -hmm. as well as play two times during the year, right. you're playing the same team four or five times if you're in the area as well. I got you. And so we're, when they were Glencoe, I don't want to play Glencoe five times. <laughs> totally understand. <laughs> totally and it's yeah. not because yeah, right. it's not good for basketball. Right, right. Because it's wonderful for basketball, especially the, the outstanding coaches that are involved in it. But the aspect of playing somebody so many times is a negative on my account. I got you. Totally understand. And another thing, mm -hmm. one more thing, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, as a coach, each team is different. Mm -hmm. And every year you're looking for a tournament that's going to help get your team over the hump because right. basketball is a tournament sport. Yeah. So finding that that correct tournament for you to help the specific team you have, depending on your cross area, area whatever it's got to get you over the hump, mm -hmm. I think uh, I think that's a, a benefit to be able to have the luxury of doing that. And if you're locked in to that tournament, it limits you. Right. Who are your tournament stars this year? Um, well, I, we really got two. And I'm such a great guy, I didn't bring one, right? You know? <laughs> um, Drake started a lot of games uh, for us last year, and then Jordan Preston, my son, he, he's a returning starter. Um, he's young, he, his time will come. 
He says, you're a starter and then you're a leader. You know that. So he, we're going to need him to show leadership this year, but he's still not ready to be a leader on our team yet. Uh, not like these guys have. They've earned that right. What about some newcomers? I know you were on JV last year, transferred in. Harrison. These two guys right here. These two guys were on JV last year. We had uh, a really, I think we had eight, eight seniors, a senior-laden team. These guys got the benefit of getting as much playing time. And I know Will had an injury. He really set out of basketball for about a year, a year and a half. So he needed the reps and as many. And by the end of the year last year, he was a varsity player. You know, the circumstances had it that we just didn't put him in that role. We were, we were still where we were and our chemistry had been set. So he was ready to, to answer the call. So but these definitely two, these two guys right here will step in and, and do that for us. Um, coach Noah has been there the last several years. You're an established coach. He was he had experienced success. Uh, uh, when you come in, of course, you have your own system and you have different players. Uh, you kind of still going to keep a few things that Coach Noah did and kind of uh, put your your uh, X's and O's into it. Have uh, you thought about that? What, what, what you want to do? We've been doing different things. But I'm very lucky because you know anytime you're a coach, I think you're stupid if you don't try to learn from someone. And I learned things from Coach Noah, and I really appreciated it. He did a great job incorporating me into a lot of the things that we did. I did a lot of the film work. I did a lot of the, uh, the scouting and things like that. So um, having him last year and being able to, to take up where he left off, there will be definitely things that you'll see of his, but hopefully I can continue to go on, you know, things that I want to do as well. And the kids have noticed some of those things that we've done differently. Offensively, we're doing something a little bit, you know, different. But, uh, uh, and they've adapted very well to it. it uh, and just doing a great job overall with the transition. I can't say enough about the guys and the way they've handled it. I want uh, each one of you guys to answer this right here. Um, starting with you, Will. Senior year, man, um, like Coach Preston's going to be leaning on you guys. I mean, you, you three guys are sitting here for a reason. First of all, what does that mean to you? And, you know, how are you going to transition that into making you guys a better team? Um, that's a tremendous honor. You know, like I said, we, we I've coached first year to coach since seventh and eighth grade, and he mm -hmm. moved up with us. So we've been with him. We, I, I know I do. I, I'm sure these guys do too. But major respect for the, for coach. But uh, I guess you know, kind of like football, you got to be a leader. You know, senior senior year, you got to step up to the to the, to the task. But uh, I feel like my my role on this team is, isn't going to be able to score. I mean, if I score, I will. But I mean, I'm, I'm going to be the rebound guy, and I'm going to be the hustling, and I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, if that's, if that's what Coach wants us, wants me to do, then I'll do it. So, okay. yeah, I'm kind of like Will. Whatever role Coach needs me to play, that's what I'll do. You know, if if it's the grab a rebound, hustle plays, so be it. I know, like I'm going to vouch for Coach here, like he said. It's not the daddy ball situation with him. He pushes Jordan. We push Jordan. Jordan pushes us. You know, he. Like I said he's a he's a very good basketball player, very good athlete. And uh, saying that, I think he's going to be a big part of the team as far as playing, you know, and doing what he does. And that's why I just got to do. We all got to do what coach wants us to do. And I I feel like we can win ball games. Like Drake wants to host area because we do too. Absolutely. I feel like the leadership we have on this team and how much we've all played together. Uh, I feel like that really help us out. Uh, we all we all hold each other like really high standards. We work on. We're always pushing the younger kids too. When these two were at football, I I really worked on pushing the younger kids to get better so we can make a standard for the future of Hopeswell basketball. So hopefully we keep on doing that and bring something back this year. Well, good luck to you guys. And like Coach Preston said, it's a community out of the house. Everybody comes out, no coaches ever leave. They retire from there. So, uh, man, it's a 100% it's a village mentality. I love the reason it. they retire from there, we got kids like this. That's right. That's why they retire from there.